Legend of War here, and today we've got a rating your doomstack video covering a clan scroll weapon team army with some very funny looking units in here. So these are some pretty weird looking rats, sisters of Avalorn. So he managed to get an alliance with Attain, and alliance recruits some sisters there. He also got some carronades, but I don't agree with this decision whatsoever. This unit here. Uh, like, you just get Warp Lightning Cannons. It serves the exact same purpose, but Warp Lightning Cannons are actually better than Carronades. So this absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. These, on the other hand, that's different, because these are boosted by the, um, the weapons team, uh, sorry, by the uh, Warlock Engineers, perhaps more so than what they could be in the higher faction, because they've got loads of extra ammunition and missile strength here, uh, which is uh, really useful, but also extra range. And the... Skaven can really benefit from having a unit that, once runs out of ammo, can actually fight in melee. So, we're going up against a lot of dwarves here. Four full stacks of endgame crisis. Uh, Clan Angren forces. Let's just jump in here and see what we can do. So, it's not a disaster battle, but it kind of looks like one a little bit. We are the attacker, and we had the opportunity to lightning strike. Obviously, that would have made it very easy. Another thing we could have done is just back off and then ambush them. But we're here to test this out. Now, with a weapons team army, the most important thing is terrain. If we have bad terrain, it's just not going to operate very well. In Warhammer 3, missile units are really finicky. Way more finicky than they are in Warhammer 2. And weapons team armies were finicky in Warhammer 2, right? So any obstructions at all, unacceptable. Another thing is giving manual fire orders. That can be really goofy because they will oftentimes um, run towards it even if they're in guard mode. So you've just got to be really careful with that stuff. Alright, looking at terrain over here. I actually think over here seems better. That mound over there is a bit of a problem. Alright, I can't deploy there. Okay. Alright, since we're the attacker, we'll have a bit of time to get back. I'll just have to organize as we go. I want this guy to annoy them while they're on the approach. Right, let's go. Alright. Want that there. I want these here. All of them on guard mode. You there, you there. This one here. Giselles. Giselles will be needed for taking out heroes. I reckon sisters should be on the flanks and rattling guns be in the center. And, of course, Plague Priest up front. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get over here and start annoying them. Okay, we got a Forbidden Rod. Let's do that. And we've got two of these Wands of Jets, which I used to really like the Wand of Jet. Now I just don't think it's that big of a deal. But generating a whole bunch of Winds of Magic would be useful. I'm more than happy to use the Nuke in this battle. But it's just a matter of how we're going to go about it. Okay, now they're advancing on us. Okay, if they could just stay put there, keep shooting at us, then what we could do... Oh look, it's a floating dwarf there. If they're far enough away, we could pop down minutes below on them. How's that formation looking? So far so good, I think. Them coming at us early here is definitely good. Yeah, reinforcements coming in. Alright, let's try to get rid of this organ gun. Man, look at the leadership on these units. I wonder if I should use my magic. The only problem here is that they will just dodge it. And there's a lot of force coming in there. Also, if I cast, this guy here will probably use, um... No, he'll definitely use it, because it's a passive. He'll, um, cause us to miscast. Oh, I shouldn't have been shooting that. Yeah, it's not, not a great target for the, um, Plague Claw Catapults there. Okay. 
We need to try to lure these ones over this way into the kill zone. That's it, that's it, bring him in. See, this is what I was talking about. We really just need them to fire at will. Okay, these guys here, I need them to shoot at that one, specifically. How are you going over there? Yeah, this hill here really benefits them. Try to lure them back around this way. That is one hell of a blob. I'm gonna I'm take it. I'm gonna take the shot. I think that was pretty good. Didn't really see them because of the trees. But I think it was a pretty good shot. It's okay, gotta get rid of them. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, you need to move back there. You move back. Can't move back. Gotta be shooting into its flank. Luckily, it's really focusing on the Sisters of Avalon, not the rattling gun there. Okay, there you go. You're just gonna have to hold that position. All these slayers are a big problem. Alright, it sucks about the Sisters of Avalon there, but like I said, that terrain was just not good for us. should also use um, this one here on the clan rats, just keep them in the fight a little bit longer. Although, it barely makes any difference. Alright, well, we still got a few of the Sisters of Avalon there. So that's something. And these ones over here are fine. And the thing is, if it wasn't for Sisters of Avalon, if it was another rattling gun there, it would have instantly died to those slayers. Okay. Okay. Oh man, look how much damage that nuke did to the army. Nice. Making my way. Okay, we don't want anyone coming in through here. Keep using these guys to try to move them around here. Okay. Shoot the guys that are coming in over there. They're in relatively full health. Definitely gonna need as much winds of magic as we can possibly get. These guys here goofing around is fine for us. Alright, I'm gonna put one in there to try to warp bomb it. A little bit more damage. Gotcha. Alright, looking good. The only real damage we took there was because of the slayers that went around the flank. Okay, now you need that. Alright, things feel a little bit calmer now. Alright, it might be a good idea if we start aiming for the Lords, because the Giselles are really good at that. The Rattling Guns can keep regenerating ammo. Bouncer powers... Mm, it is what it is. Alright, now with this Menace Below that we want to do here at Vermintide, rather than hold them back, what I want to do is... Have it run backwards and have the enemy chase us, so that they're going backwards a little bit. Don't shoot at that. Shoot over here. Oh, 
what, what is his artillery doing? Okay, that should be the last lord there. So if the Giselles can take that out, that is really good for us. Not seeing too many slayers come around over here, which is also good. Not, not advancing on us quickly. That's what we want to see. Still got plenty of menace blows here. None there. Okay, since this flank over here seems to get attacked heavier than this one, we'll switch sides. Plus this guy is a bit damaged. Let's pop down a Menace below, and then when they're pinned down, we'll pop down a Plague as well. Okay, this one here is out of ammo, and it did... it, it did a decent amount of damage. Okay, we can move it up as like, like a last line of defense before they get to the Rattling Guns. Alright, now the um, cannons are coming in. Well, I have no idea what that one's doing. Okay, that should be racking up good damage. Yep, pretty good. This one's almost out of ammo. But it's done. Yeah, lots of damage. But yeah, what it's going to end up coming down to is the rattling guns just because of their unlimited ammunition due to clan scryer he's okay no, not yet, not yet. all the missile units keep aiming for the uh, the warlock master here not advancing on the units that they really should be killing all right you've got a few shots left just hold on for a moment Bouncer power slipped away from us, but I think it's just that there's loads of artillery at the back there not doing anything. If we take them out. Yeah, all of their reinforcements have come in now. If we take out the artillery, we might be getting close to army losses. Just go and attack that. Heard us supposed to pop down warp lightning as well. Now that we've used up most of our summons, yeah, this wouldn't be so bad to actually use some damage magic. Although maybe plague would be better, but I'm not going to cast plague from that distance. Now I did use up those forbidden rods. Might as well try to get some of that magic. Another thing is that, uh, no, they're moving out now. Shoot over here. Why are you instructed? Okay, that's fine. Alright, the menace below there did some serious damage to their artillery. Cool. Bouncer power's improving, that's what we want to see. It also drew some of their- what, what the hell- what the hell are you doing? Move back. You can also use the Pestilent Birth. Giselle's run out of ammo. What are you doing? Move back. Moving. Alright, we're gonna pop down this plague. There. Yeah. Have them keep shooting at. Oh Lord, is that gonna hit? Ah, oh, they're kind of moving away from it. That's kind of a miss there. Right, we've got a lot coming in here. We're gonna need some. some hold power. Get back before you get wiped out. Okay, I'm gonna bring these guys up. Yeah, that's a much better plague. Oh, get rid of this. That bounce of power is looking better. Awaiting orders. Yes, the problem here, this one doesn't want to shoot because the terrain sucks. But there's the army losses. Cool. Dead. 
damn. Well, dwarves are incredibly weak to Skaven normally, so... I'm still pretty impressed that this was able to take on four full stacks at the same time. Without really taking that much damage, the only thing that went wrong was that one Slayer that went around over here and we just had trouble with it. But the sisters held on long enough that they managed. And the great thing about this here is that if we take on captives, we'll probably recover every single casualty that we lost. So, just looking over here briefly. Yeah, just wanted to see that my nuke was actually good. Because I wasn't sure about it, but that looks like a lot of dead dwarfs. Because I fired that kind of blind into the forest there. I saw a huge blob, went for it. Alright, cool. Well, I don't need to send a save file back, so we don't need to worry about running it down. So yeah, I stand by what I said about the Carronades. I think Warp Lightning Cannons would have been better. But I think the Sisters of Avalon, that was a good choice. Although, if we have a look at actual damage numbers, they were massively outclassed by Rattling Guns and Gisales. However, they did serve a purpose of having like a bit of hold power. So it wasn't, wasn't so bad. I'll have a look at the actual damage numbers though. Because that one there used up all of its ammo. These guys here as well, but... Don't forget, these these ones here also took out the heroes. So 32,000 damage, 33,000, 11,000, 9,000, 5,000, 5,000, 30,000. The Skaven units way outclassed the Alliance units. And for the most part, I just gave them autonomy to just shoot at whatever they want. But every single one of the Skaven units outclassed them. The only, the only benefit to this one here was the... Um, the holding power that really helped us with the uh, with the slayer that went around there. But then again, I usually put four plague priests in my armies um, so that I've actually got enough coverage for that kind of situation. I I just had half as much coverage as what I would normally have, and so if we had another plague priest instead of that unit, then a plague priest would have been there, giving us extra winds of magic, and um, we wouldn't have taken any casualties really. But it still performed really well. But I gotta wonder if maybe just going all full Skaven would have actually been better. But you guys let me know what you think I could have taken on Captain. But like I said, we don't need to send this in. That's back. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this Doomstack. Now, rating it. Obviously the normal weapons team army is incredibly powerful. So, how practical is this? I'd say it's not very practical. Get an alliance with the High Elves must have been extremely difficult, right? If we have a look, gifts given to attain 193, you would have had to have given them so many gifts of 20,000 in order to do that. And look, it's going to deteriorate constantly. Now, if they break the Alliance, uh, I'm, pr I'm not sure actually if those Alliance units will be removed. Actually, let's just see what happens. If I cancel this... Understood. What happens to those alliance units, right? I think they disappear. Yeah, they do. So it's very tenuous. So I'd say in it's interesting. It's impressive what you did, but it's not in the slightest bit practical. I think you're just way better off um, putting another Plague Priest, putting another Giselle, or another Rattling Gun. I th although I think you got enough Rattling Guns. Um, as for the Carronades, I think that Warp Lightning Cans. If we have a look here, if I go into a camp stance. Warp Lightning Cannon. Oh, they do take a little bit of time to recruit. But if we look at it, 40 ammunition, 430 range, compared to... four. Okay, they've got slightly higher range, but they've got way more ammo. And missile strength. But uh, these Carronades are cheaper. I still think that if you're, if you're going to go with like a single entity destroyer, you should have gone Warp Lightning Cannon. So... Yeah, I think when it comes down to it, you're still just better off with a full rat army. It might have actually performed better. Um, and wouldn't require you to constantly be feeding money over to them. So, very low points for practicality. Um, in terms of um, strength, it was obviously ridiculously strong. Especially strong versus dwarves. Skaven just hard counter the dwarves in every which way. Um, they're just really good against them. 
using this against like vampire accounts or other sort of faster, higher leadership, um, fast but high leadership units uh, would be a bit of a problem. So wood elves would be a struggle. But this is very much a dwarf counter where you, you want to try to ambush as much as possible. What's your um, traits there? Cunning? Yeah, so you probably would have had to work fairly hard to make sure they... Oh yeah, you can guarantee not to ambush them by by going into ambush attack, right? It's not going to deny the enemy reinforcements, but that way you can prevent an ambush from occurring. So that's probably what you did there. Cool. So yeah, practicality, low points, strength, super high, but maybe lower than what a regular weapons team army would have been, and ease of use, and moderate. You know, you, you gotta know how to use a weapons team army. It's not the kind of army that you can just recruit and then just set and forget. You've gotta be able to read the terrain, you've gotta know when to cast the summons, how to use the lords, all that kind of stuff just takes a lot of practice. Um, I get, well, have, over the course of my time playing Warhammer 2 and 3, received so many disasters from people complaining that the weapons team army sucks, when really they just don't know how to use it. Um, it's a very finicky sort of army. Like in my campaigns, when I use weapons team army, it just performs really well most of the time, because I know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm always the attacker, I'm always ambushing, uh, always making sure I choose the exact right terrain, and they perform great 99 out of 100 times. But every now and again, they get caught. Um, but yeah, th that's my rating of this one. Let me know what you think. Very interesting, if nothing else. Maybe a separate score for interesting. Top marks for interesting to actually manage to get an alliance with the high elves there. But yeah, I don't need to send this save file back, so it doesn't matter that I cancel the alliance there. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.